Hi, did you have fun using your astrolabe and measuring angles? I must say, I think the astrolabe is a useful tool. Do you remember the formula we used? Height divided by distance equals tan alpha. But where did we get this formula from? Now, have you wondered why we used tan of an angle to help us find the height of an object? What is this tan all about? You are going to do an activity and you will be surprised by what you discover about tan. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the tangent ratio as opposite divided by adjacent. Before you start, can you remember how to label points on a Cartesian plane? Here is a Cartesian plane with the x and y axes marked. I'm going to choose uh, this point here. Now, do you remember how to write the coordinates of this point? Which value do I write first, the x value or the y value? Remember, we always write the x value first and then the y value. And we read these values as follows. From the point coming down to the x-axis, we see that the x is 4. And then from the point to the y-axis, we see that y is 30. So this point has coordinates 4, 30. Now, back to tan alpha. I asked two learners to do an exercise and I would like you to do it with them as well. Draw a positive x-axis and a positive y-axis on graph paper. Mark point O at the origin. Draw OP so that OP makes an angle of 40 degrees with the x-axis. Let each block on the paper represent 10 units. Mark three points, P1, P2, and P3 anywhere on the line OP. Now, write in the coordinates of P1, P2, and P3. Be as accurate as you can. Remember, you can mark the three points anywhere on the line, so the coordinates of your points will be different to the learner's points. Now, the next step is to draw a table. Draw four columns across and four rows down, like this. For each point, fill in the x value and the y value, and then calculate the value of y divided by x. Let's see what the learners did. So I've rounded off my values. P1 is the point 110, 95, and P2 has the coordinates 200, 170. The coordinates of P3 are 300, 260. Okay, so the Y divided by the X is 95 divided by 110, which is equal to 0, 0,86. For my point 1, my X was 10 and my Y was 8,5. My Y 
divided by x gave me 0, 0,85. So let me do the others. For my second point, 170, 170 divided by 200 is equal to 0, 0,85. Mine is 19 divided by 22, and so my answer was 0, 0,86. Wow, our answers are almost the same. Is this a coincidence? Let's look at the other one. Oh, wow, 260 divided by 300 is 0, 0,86 recurring. Mine is 21 divided by 25, and that gives me... 0,84. Cool. All three of my answers are almost the same. And your answers are kind of the same values as mine as well. Check this out. The x and the y values at the points change, but when you divide y by x, the answers are the same. Did you find the same results? When you divided each y value by the x value, did you also find that the answer was close to 0, 0,85? Now, take a look at my diagram. It does not matter what the coordinates of the points are, because we all chose different points. Now, I am going to draw in vertical lines. Why don't you draw in the lines on your diagram as well? In each case, I use the x-coordinate of the point and draw a vertical line. The points on the x-axis must be labelled. I called my points A, B and C. Now, look at the three triangles that have been created. Triangle O, P1, A triangle O, P2, B, and triangle O, P3, C. What do you know about the relationship between these three triangles? Well, each triangle has this angle here at 40 degrees, and then angle A is 90 degrees, angle B is 90 degrees, and angle C is 90 degrees. What does that mean for the angle here at P1, here at P2, and here at P3? Think about the sum of angles in a triangle. These three angles are also equal. So now the angles are the same size and thus the triangles are similar even though the sides are different lengths. If triangles are similar, this means that their sides are in proportion. Look at your table of values. You should see that when you divided the y value of the ordered pair by the x value of the ordered pair for every point, the ratio y divided by x gave the same answer. For example, 0, 0,8. Does this have something to do with tan? Mathematicians studying trigonometry made a discovery. If you want to measure the distance to, let's say, a star, something that is impossible to reach, you can create a similar right angle triangle and work out information about this triangle. Think about the surveyor measuring the height of the mountain. The triangle he drew is similar to the real triangle formed by the mountain. This information you work out will be true for the real triangle that you are trying to measure because the triangles are similar. Think about what we did when we measured the height of the Mindset building. 
we also created a smaller similar right angled triangle. So are you wondering where tan fits into this? We worked with this smaller similar right angled triangle and found an answer for the height of the real building. Just as we saw in our table of values, mathematicians found that the ratio of the sides of similar right angle triangles kept giving the same value. So they decided to name this. Mathematicians called the ratio y divided by x tan of an angle. When we speak of y, we refer to the side opposite to the angle that we are working with. Let me show you this in a right angle triangle. In triangle ABC, AB is opposite theta. When we speak of x, we refer to the side that is adjacent to or next to the angle theta. BC is adjacent to the angle theta. We define tan theta as opposite divided by adjacent. So, in this case, it is AB divided by B C. Look at the diagram we drew of the mindset building. We knew the size of an angle and we wanted to find the height of the building, which is the side opposite to the angle. We knew the distance from the person to the building and this distance is next to or adjacent to the given angle. We found that h divided by 11 is equal to tan of 80 degrees. This formula helps us find the height of tall objects when we can work out the length of the distance from the object and we can work out the size of the angle to the top of this tall object. Have you achieved the outcome for this lesson? Did you conclude that in a right angle triangle, the ratio of height to horizontal distance remains the same if the angle remains constant? Can you remember that the tangent ratio or tan ratio is defined as opposite divided by adjacent? The task will assess whether or not you have achieved these outcomes. 1. Repeat the exercise from the lesson. But draw OP so that OP makes an angle of 30 degrees with the x-axis. Make a conclusion about tan 30 degrees. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.